Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back for another read aloud with Miss Mannion and my fuzzy little friend Fitz over here. He's about to fall asleep for a nap and I'm feeling pretty jealous of him right now. Alright, we're going to keep reading with our book, Where the Sidewalk Ends by Shel Silverstein. We are about halfway through our book, so we're doing really well so far. And today's story has to do with a peanut butter sandwich. Have you guys ever had a peanut butter sandwich? You've probably had a peanut butter and jelly sandwich, but think about peanut butter when you eat it. It's really sticky, right? So keep that in mind as we're reading through this poem, okay? All right, here we go. Peanut butter sandwich. I'll sing you a poem of a silly young king who played with the world at the end of a string, but he only loved one single thing, and that was a peanut butter sandwich. His scepter and his royal gowns, his regal thrones and golden crowns, were brown and sticky from the mounds and drippings from each peanut butter sandwich. Excuse you. His subjects all were silly fools, for he had passed a royal rule that all they could learn in school was how to make a peanut butter sandwich. He would not eat his own steak he scorned his soup and kingly cake and told his courtly cook to bake an extra sticky peanut butter sandwich. And then one day he took a bite and started chewing with delight, but found his mouth was stuck quite tight from that last bite of peanut butter sandwich. Uh -oh. The dentist came and the royal doc, the royal plumber banged and knocked, but still those jaws stayed tightly locked. Oh man, that sticky peanut butter sandwich. The carpenter, he tried with pliers. The telephone man tried with wires. The fireman, they tried with fire, but they couldn't melt that peanut butter sandwich. With ropes and pulleys, drills and coils, with steam and oils, for 20 years of tears and toils, they fought that awful peanut butter sandwich. Then all his royal subjects came. They hooked his jaws with lots of chains and pulled both ways with might and main against that stubborn peanut butter sandwich. Each man and woman, girl and boy, put down their plows and pots and toys and pulled until crack, oh joy, they broke right through that peanut butter sandwich. A puff of dust, a screech, a squeak, the king's jaw opened with a creak. And then his voice was faint and weak. The first words that they heard him speak were, How about a peanut butter sandwich? All right, here's our next one. Lazy Jane. That's how we all look this week. Laying down like that, especially on a rainy day like today. Lazy Jane. Lazy, 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 lazy Jane. She wants a drink of water, so she waits and waits and waits and waits and waits for it to rain. That's an interesting strategy. <gasps> this picture looks familiar. Where do you recognize this picture from? The front of the book. The edge of the world. Columbus said the world is round. Don't you believe a word of that? For I've been down to the edge of the world, sat on the edge where the wild wind whirled, peeked over the ledge where the blue smoke curls, and I can tell you, boys and girls, the world is flat. Is the world flat? No. So is this fiction or nonfiction? It is fiction. It is fake. All right, we're going to skip this poem. Here we go. The Toucan. I'm going to hide this picture on this side because you're going to laugh at it. So let's do this one first. The Toucan. Look at his beak. Look at how long it is. The Toucan. Tell me who can catch a toucan. Lou can. Just how few can ride the toucan. Toucan. What kind of goo can stick you to a toucan? Glue can. Who can write some more about a toucan? You can. 
That reminds me of a Dr. Seuss poem. All right, are you ready for this picture? The title of this poem is called The Planet of Mars. Oh my gosh. His head is on his butt. <laughs> That's so silly. On the planet of Mars, they have clothes just like ours, and they have the same shoes and same laces, and they have the same charms and same graces, and they have the same heads and the same faces, but not in the very same places. <laughs> That's a silly one. All right, we have time for one more. This one is called Love. Nice and short. Ricky was L, but he's home with the flu. Lizzie, R.O., had some homework to do. Michelle E. probably got lost on the way. So I'm all of love that could make it today. All right, tomorrow's poem. Ooh, there's a poem tomorrow about a magical eraser. We're going to have to wait and see. All right, guys, we will see you tomorrow. All right. Have a good afternoon. Miss you guys.